hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where my game took like a whole 60 seconds to load in. I just want to take a quick minute here to check out the this upper part. I don't think we're going to find anything. Oh, but look at that. I think this is just back into the graveyard, which works out. Because uh, the next destination I want to go to is over there. Well, there you go. How about that? Oh, I didn't see anything up there. Maybe because I am blind. Oh my gosh, that scared me. It's just tombstones. Okay, I don't know if you guys... Yeah, I hope you heard that noise too, because uh, <laughs> that was scary. Let's see. I think we went... Yeah, we went up over there. Let's go, let's go look over here. Let's go look over here. I kind of want to like get an idea of the... Oh, oh, hang on. Um, let's see. My Zells are impromptu block picker because she's got the highest dexterity. Uh, and we've got guidance here to help us out. Okay, good. Let's go. Uh, I have a lot on my mind. I hope I didn't and give Asteria too many of my these tools. There's a book. Hang on, we gotta read the book first. Graveyard Diary. Before I go poking coffins. Meh. The moment is nigh. The war has been brewing and now it overflows. When Kethic turned us towards Shaw, I followed him in appearance, if not in heart. This is my home and I would not be removed from it no matter what. I watched at a distance the darkness here grew as Kethric's grief brought him farther and farther from life itself. As he gathered his army, I prayed for his defeat. As the Harpers march upon our little village, our little beautiful village, I can only hope Kethric will be flowed at last and Wraithwind can begin to heal from this nightmare. Interesting. What you got? Ooh, boots of apparent death. Oh. Practical jokes with these boots often invo involve all your stuff being stolen by opportunistic cousins. <laughs> Let's see, who would... You know, I might give them to... What's her name? I think Lazelle doesn't really... Yeah, Lazelle doesn't have, like, anything. <laughs> she's really, like, kicking butt with, like, her starting armor. Uh, she's medium armor. I don't think I have any better medium armors for her. I mean, maybe back at camp, but we're we're owning. It's fine. Let's get but going. I can give her not that I think she would do apparent death as a thing, but oh, they don't. Oh, she looks kind of silly. She looks like she's wearing Uggs. <laughs> oh, see, uncommon medium armor. I don't. I don't have it. Yeah, I just don't have. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Another step forward. I liked. Um, uh, their name is different on the YouTube comments, but Christopher, my first year patron, I really liked your comment where it's like, we just have the harbor because uh, they have friends and we're uh, trying to transport the body and uh, trying to like help me justify why I have this undead person with me. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You gotta be careful. I'm a, I am an archaeologist. I know you gotta be careful when you walk into graveyards and crypts and mausoleums. This is this I know. This, my profession, has told me. Whoa, that looks cool. Armor of Agathis. Oh, that is cool. I'm going to have to maybe give that to Gail. Um, some bones. Nothing, nothing unique about these bones, right? Yeah. T this bone. I said tis a bone. This bone, part of a leg or perhaps an arm, is clean of blood and sinew. Perfect. Okay. La la la, I don't see anything with my hands. I literally have to touch everything with my with my hand icon. But this was like seemed like a central big location, but tombstone, tombstone, tombstone. Carps rose. Carps. I'll take that. Wow, that was that was sure something. You know what? I'm gonna freaking, I don't know how to alchemicalize, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. There's this whole tab here that I forgot existed. Okay. I had to extract all ingredients and all of a sudden I have a whole lot more stuff. Uh, I'm reading a walkthrough. I, no, I do not remember if the game ever taught me this. Oh, I do want potions of animal speaking. 
A essence of acorn truffle, sure. Yay. Uh, potion of healing. I do love, I do love those. Yeah, ashes of bot. That sounds good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Salt. What? <laughs> I have no. Corpse rose. I need salts for stuff. This thing is like, you need supplements, salts, essences, ashes, vitriols, and suspensions. I'm like, so was I not supposed to extract all the ingredients that I did? But no. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Alright, I got the achievement for creating three unique alchemical solutions in a three in a playthrough. How exciting for me. Elixirs. You know, you wouldn't know it in this game, but in Witcher 3, I was I was an alchemical extraordinaire. For whatever reason, that game really got me on the alchemy. But I think in this game, what I've been kind of waiting for is I really want them to make an alchemist like class. I really want to play an alchemist. I had an orc alchemist that I played once, and I really want to play her again. And I guess I could just do it, you know? Uh, I could just, like, have her focus on alchemy, you know, but I'm still, I'm like, ah, so I've just been kind of bitter, I think, and kind of waiting on that, and I don't think it's gonna happen at this point, but, you know, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, we got that done. <laughs> Never gonna touch that again. <laughs> That person is alive. It says distressed patient. There is somebody in there. Um. I am. I'm just curious. What's what's out here? All these dark places slain in battle. Oh. They must have a stronghold nearby or a temple. Dark justiciers. Do we? Are we seeing? Dark Justice Sears? I am not seeing any, but okay. Is it these, maybe? She's just looking at the dawn of new light. What? Did the predators feel? Oh! Oh! What's he doing here? Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm gonna go talk to Raphael, I need to bring Asterion. He wanted to. There's. Wow, there's two things here that are very close to each other. Two big things. Another Thorm. Who I assume is like the one that we did earlier. And let me see if we can switch out uh, Zell maybe for Asterion? Yeah. I don't think anybody else needed to talk to him. Oh. I don't get it. Thou wilt. Okay, good. Don't, 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 don't mess her up, my guy. Uh, okay. Always at your side. Greetings. We are covered in blood, my goodness. Are you sure that's the best course yep. of Confirm. Confirm. <laughs> Where is... Where is the boy? You again. <gasps> He doesn't like me. Don't lead on. Listen, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to make you happy. Oh, he got the blessing of saloon. I just saw that. That's good. All right, but let me make sure that the girl is doing all right. Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? Uh, not yet. Well, hurry. They gotta be somewhere, and I don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. That's fine. I don't really need to. Uh, but hopefully... Um, what were you before you were 
this. Hopefully they're all right. There is no before. So you've always been a bone man. In a sense. <laughs> Aren't we all bone people, really, when it comes down to it? You. My guy. What? Don't, don't act like we're looking at the architecture. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark she went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. Yeah. A new grave they dug, which she herself fed. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Our lack. Hmm. Now warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. Yeah. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Uh, what dangers are those? Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. Why does nobody say anything? It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Hmm. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. I love this. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Huh. Ooh, let's see. Paint me a clearer picture than that. Oh, it's not too hard. Perfect. Like, I get, there's, I, I feel like there's like a time thing down there, right? Like a tableau where like everybody's frozen in time. And if I disturb it, it will awaken things that were better left sleeping. You know, like memories or power or something, you know? Um, and if it could affect other people besides myself, like, I don't want to disturb that, you know? Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you will have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. What? In truth, it is carnage oh. incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. But also, why should I believe him? He's a devil and he's like, oh no, what would happen if carnage was unleashed upon the realm? To be fair, I think devils aren't wanting to necessarily unleash, unleash total mayhem, right? They're, they're more lawful evil than chaotic evil. They can't make contracts with people who are dead. You know, I mean, maybe they can, kind of, but you know, it's, it's, it's easier to prey upon to the living. So, I could see him actually wanting to keep this, like, to keep whatever's in there. Also, it could be competition. He doesn't want the competition to come out, you know? But, um, are demons more chaotic than devils? Is it like a, but he said infernal? I don't know if that, if demon and devil are technically infernal, but. But no, nothing is allies, fiend. No, you're only telling me half of what you really know I can tell. Let's see. Okay, not too hard again. Let's. Okay. <laughs> this creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps. What are we talking here? Lemia? Yeah. Pit fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Okay. <laughs> well, all right then. Um, hmm. Are you afraid of this creature? Listen here, Pip Squeak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink like, of an eye to strike. Oh, geez, okay. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. 
That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Okay. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details, and I will. Once the beast that lurks uh... below is vanquished and sent back to the hells. Uh... I kind of want to ask him, but I'm not going to push him. What do you think? What's not alike? We kill some horrible beastie, and I get what I want in return. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Except the beastie. The beastie. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Okay, bye, demon. That's kind of the noise and like the like physical like apparition look of something that happened earlier when we were down further in the, I think near the, uh, what you call it? The Mason Guild? Okay, hey, you. You're staring at me again. What do you why want? Didn't, why weren't you happy with me? Are you really gonna trust that devil to keep his word if we kill this Orthon? He did say hot on the Orthon, so. I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. Oh, really? I think he likes it. <laughs> I'd never say it to a smarmy face. Um. Let's see. I do kind of like him, but that's me, not my paladin, uh, even if she's an oathbreaker. Uh, devils will take everything they can get and more besides. Fret not. My soul is quite safe. I am not about to swap one master for another. Even though he's using me, I'm using him too. What do I care about this orphan's life? Okay, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get down there because the guy specifically said, the devil Raphael, he specifically said, don't give it a chance to say anything. That's basically what he was saying. He said, don't give it a chance, kill it in one shot. So therefore, I am thinking, if I talk to this thing, there's going to be a conundrum. And I'm like, no! Like, how can I trust him? How can I trust Raphael? He's a devil. He obviously wants what's in his own interest, you know? And, yeah, so now I'm like, I'm torn on like, it's like, oh, okay, just go down and kill the, kill the Orthon. But I'm like, there, he obviously doesn't want me to talk to it. And obviously with Asterion's quest, Asterion's like, oh yeah, it'll be super easy. Let's just go do this. And it's like, oh, okay, for my companion, it'll be, we'll do this for him. But obviously there's gonna be some trouble up ahead. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, well, I will probably keep Asterion with me simply because I feel like we might need some sneaking shenanigans to deal with. Oh, I don't know if I have to, if I can like talk to this one like I did with the other one and just like talk my way out, but maybe I'll try to set up Asterion somewhere. I don't know. It'll be easier to lockpick things now. The House of Healing. Yeah, this is the House of Healing. Okay. I don't know why I bothered with that. <laughs> We're just gonna automatically, even if he rolled like a zero, we would have gotten it. Oh. Right. Time to rest. Ten tier scalpels. Moving ahead. Judge of the Damned. 
an excerpt from the book in which Ifigen Mor Mahros discusses the strange theistic history of mortals becoming gods. Wow! There have been many lords of death who cast judgment upon souls lost and found alike. Among them was Kelimavor, a hard man of harder convictions. As a mortal man, he was a mercenary with a pallid and stone beliefs hidden under a crust of scowls and grumbles. As lord of death, he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself for the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice, but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly, and Kelimavor chose cool prudence over cold malice. Well, that's good. I was like, if you walk through that door, I am I'm gonna scream. Painted chest. Anything of use? Poisoner's glove. Let's give those to Asterion, maybe. Surgery and physiology as Sharon's pri as Sharon's primary. Let's see what Yikes. this does. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished with every quill stroke precise. Sharon aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines only with sacrifices mastery games. So has Our Lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader, the darkness is infinite, but a master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, there shall come a time for one final lesson. He will become the subject laid fully bare for his students to con consult, examine, and dissect. The sisters shall one day know me, first in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. A key. I'm scared. I'm gonna save again. It, oh, I think this might actually just go outside. Okay. I don't see a massive point in going out over there right now. And where was... Fail. I did not. I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna end like this. Was, it was gonna like end kind of up here, but it, if, it, if we fill out the whole kind of map area, it's gonna go all the way up into here. Jeez. Let's look at our fail tools of his nemesis. Evidently, we should try. Evidently, we should try to deal with this old enemy. Hmm. A great many dark justice years seem to have perished while fighting near the graveyard. We must be drawing close to the place Shadow Heart, which is defined. Oh, I wonder if that's where we're headed right now. Like she was saying when we walked up right there, and this area where we're supposed to kill the Orthon must be a sh Shar temple. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Elf. But only. I wish I could ask him about his scars, but I feel like I don't have the right to do that. We are not good friends. He does not like me. I... Do I want to just touch? They were like creepy little puppet ladies. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I'm... I'm... Okay. Your eyes are sharp, I, am, I am wondering if I can keep can Asterion out of this. And sneak him around. But I don't want to trigger... Or I don't, so the last storm we fought, I was able to talk my way out of the situation. So I'm curious if I can do that in this one. But I'm going to leave Asterion a syringe. The yellowish green ooze dried to the syringe's long needle gives you the distinct impression that this medical device was never used to heal anyone. With fi I think it'd be poison, but fire, like fire in your veins, you know? Wraithwind Necrology. The sustained scrolls list of the dead, specifically casualties of battle. It is dated 1986 DR, but half a millennium ago, and signed Malice Thorm. Justicier, decapitation, justicier, blood loss, arcane on um, nights. Arcane burn, smash skull, split in two, crush windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others of final index catalogs. Objects plucked from various corpses, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sorts. Witness the solace of the ladies' whispers. One day I'll catch up. Alright, I'm gonna go down and talk to this guy. 